Hey there, welcome back. Today we have another level one toy from Outward Hound. We're going to see if Ambrose um, likes this toy. So I am going to unbox this um, and we're going to fill it with some of his food. He ate about half of his food already for dinner. And now he's going to get to play with this. I put the little dogs in their kennels and now I'm going to fill this up for him. So this is the food I'm going to put in there. It is currently um, Origins large puppy food. It is what was donated to the rescue. We love Origin, it's a great brand. I'm going to attempt to get this out of the packaging. Okay, so it's just make sure you don't lose this in the ball. Um, I don't believe there's any instructions. Nope, there's no instructions. So I'm going to assume we just put, put food in one hole and it comes out whenever it comes out. I suppose it's fairly, it will be fairly easy to clean. Um, it is going to be slightly difficult to fill, maybe. Or just, it's going to take forever to fill. Um, I feel like he's going to like this a lot more than the other level one toy. Mostly because he does love to play with balls. So I feel like when he sees this, he's just going to get really excited. I feel like it's not going to be overly challenging. Just because when he rolls it out, it's... Like, if, if it's this way, like, half that food came out that I just put in there. It's just... Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Let's get all of this in there. I honestly think this would be really great for a, um, for a dog who eats fast. Instead of a maize bowl, give them this. Or something like this. I know that, um... There's a couple other different kinds of these. All right, now that it's filled, let's go to the living room and give this to the kid. For those of you who don't know, Ambrose is a 10-month-old cattle dog lab mix. He is our current foster. Actually, he was our current foster. By the time this video goes up, he will have been adopted, which is very exciting for us. He is foster number 19 for us. When I first gave him this toy, he was really excited about it because it was a ball, but he's not overly food motivated unless it's something really um, exciting for him, like chicken or something like that. So it just took him a minute to figure out that he can roll this ball around and he can get some food from it. And then it also took him a while to figure out that he could actually pick it up. But once he figured that part out, he didn't want to put it down. It was his new favorite toy. I mean, you can't go wrong with a toy that is a ball. And it also contains food. Ambrose is about 40, 45 pounds. Um, this is the small size of the ball. They also make a larger size. But because I wanted to try it on our four to six pound dogs as well, I chose to get the small one. I think this ball is perfect for a dog of his size. Later in the video, I will show it to you with Gracie and Oliver, but I think that they could pretty easily push it around if they wanted to and if they were really ball motivated, but they just weren't into it. It did take Ambrose about 10 to 15 minutes to get all of the food out of it. And I only filled it with about 
half a cup of food, if that. But once all of the food was out, he was so excited that he could focus on the ball part of it and just carry it around and try to throw it around the house. Now this is a hard plastic, so it is dangerous if you have other dogs that could potentially get hurt by it. Um, or fragile things in your home. Our house is thankfully very dog proof, so we don't have to worry about that. Even with the Christmas decorations, nothing's breakable here. So after letting him play with the ball for about 30 minutes or so, um, it did end up with a couple scratches. It is a hard plastic but with him picking it up and carrying it around and chewing on it a little bit, it got a couple little gashes in it, but I do think that it is pretty durable. It will last for a very long time. I do know that when I clean it, which will probably not be after every use, it should be, but it probably won't end up being. I am just going to fill it with hot soapy water, shake it around, give it a good rinse, probably take a scrub brush to the outside just to make sure it's thoroughly cleaned. One thing that I already don't like about this toy is the sanitary part of it. I wish you would be able to unscrew or take apart each side and really get inside of it to clean. I wanted to show you this toy with Oliver. He typically gets a raw diet, but there is kibble in here. I wanted to see what he would do with it. He is about four pounds. And this is light enough that if he wants, he can knock it over and get food out of it. Or, you know, mommy can do that for him that I'm using in this toy with him is that Origin Large Puppy and I am fully aware that is not a food for a four pound dog but he's getting a couple pieces of it. I think he'll be okay. Um, I think that if I just gave him 30 minutes with this toy he would probably figure it out and actually like it but he's doing what he did at the beginning with the previous toy he is just coming back to me for reassurance and wanting me to help him with it. Oliver has never been a very independent puppy. Now I know he is not a puppy being six years old, but he will always be my little baby, which is probably why he is the way he is, because I treat him like that. My intention on getting these toys was to help him with his confidence and also help Gracie as she starts to go blind, she can enhance her sense of smell and rely a little bit more on that. Oliver is not overly interested in this, clearly. He would rather have me pay attention to him and scratch him and love on him. Now, when Ambrose gets adopted, he will take this toy with him because he absolutely loves it. He is currently on his sleepover and he does have it with him. Everything is going wonderful with all of that and we are really excited to hopefully finalize his adoption. I guess it would be this week when I'm posting this video. I will keep you updated on how Ambrose's adoption goes if you're interested. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos of these interactive toys. I did buy all of them, so I will at least be recording their interaction with them and seeing if they like it. And if you want me to post more of these, I definitely will.